Hi, this is CJ, your friend. I am here in a garage with my new Baja CT 100B. A Kawasaki Baja or 100cc with fuel efficiency up to 87 kilometers per liter. So I put a cargo box at the back. Here's my registered plate number. I bought this one last October 21 this year, 2021 uh, in Kawasaki showroom at um, Road 1 Minuyan. The supplier is BLC Minuyan. And uh, you know, when I talk this Baja 100 Kawasaki, I was not really I do not know really how to drive this one so what happened is it was I would say a miracle drive from around uh, 15 kilometers away from my home here in Diamond Crest so from Norsagaray Minoyan I drove this one that late afternoon traversing the whole stretch of Kirino Highway it was a busy afternoon and it was really a miracle from the Lord because the engine is very forceful and I could not control the throttle and the clutching so many instances that I really flew some meters I was still adjusting at that time but God is good and maybe drivers and the traffic around understood my situation and yeah, I arrive still safe in our subdivision. You can just imagine I drove this one using only gear number one because I do not know how to shift to gear two, gear three, and gear four that time. So the engine was so forceful. Thanks be to God, I arrived safely. Though there were some discomfort and struggles. So I got lessons learned about <laughs> when I purchased this. Kawasaki Baja City 100B So first and foremost don't ever drive a motorcycle if you don't have any training or practice That's one because this is a, a clutch. This is not an automatic motorcycle Secondly, you must be familiar of the gear Gear 1, gear 2 of your gears because When the seller told me that it is one click down and the rest is up Actually when I tried it I didn't get it because the actual based on the manual is actually rotary and I was already confused while running the motorcycle. Thirdly, you must be familiar of the basic basic timing of clutch, the brakes, the coordination within the clutch and brakes and release including the open and closure of the fuel basic in running a motorcycle. And of course, it is assumed that when you drive a motorcycle, you already knew how to balance yourself. Be at least familiar in driving a bike to ensure balance in your driving. One thing, I was actually wearing a shirt at that time. During those tension moments, I got burned in my legs because the, the muffler or the exhaust hit my legs. So don't ever wear a shirt when you drive a motorcycle especially when you are still a beginner or a novice in driving. I hope, first and foremost, we need to pray all the time because we do not know what will happen next. It is in the hands of God. With our rule to be cautious, careful, and be safe in driving, we need to pray first to God because, because there are things beyond our control. And we are engaging also in a, in a world of no assurance except your faith in God your common sense and skills prayer is very important that's some of my tips that i'm that i shared to you i also experience accidents while doing practice even here inside the subdivision i also met uh, a major accident but thanks be to god that's done only small injuries and i was able to recover the motorcycle was repaired immediately and I used it three hours after. Then the following day I drove this directly to the church because my church assignment is there in 
no sagaray bulakan. So here, the original color of this is black red or red black, but I put a design of uh, IRM logo, and also here, the, the logo here is the Qatar IRM, and also at the back, the original logo of IRM, only at the front. Here also, a big logo of IRM. This is a missionary vehicle and uh, I put some stickers here and here and also at the shock so as of now I already done its first change oil but you know it's only 497 kilometer travel so far God willing by February next year will be the second change oil so this is my Baja Kawasaki one hand city 100 B it's very economical the price I bought this one by the help of Qatar Tito Church IRM affiliated church they sent me more or less 42,000 so I purchased this one at 41,500 cash thanks be to God glory be to God very useful to the ministry and especially when you are constrained with time it's very appropriate vehicle but of course yeah. we need to be cautious always because it's very risky only by god's grace that we can really mobilize this vehicle all the time i would say this one this is my helmet and uh, passing the quality standard of durability and strength and when I met my accident this, re this helmet really helped me a lot now I'm still adjusting and still try to enhance familiarity of my driving the timing clutching brake acceleration and all these things more practice in my side but at least by the help of God I'm able to drive this from time to time when I will go to the church that's all AJ your friend I will be doing some updates in the future. Again, thanks be to God. Today when I drove this one with almost zero driving knowledge. And now with the gradual improvement in my driving. So that's all for today. God bless you. EJ, your friend. Bye-bye.